Hi everybody, it's Laura, Sugar Bunny Boulevard, and I have been away for a little while, trying to kind of regroup, figure out how to deal with, um, not failure, because I haven't been failing, but setbacks, and some people talk about them, and I think I must have, I must be the type to retreat and be in denial <laughs> about setbacks or maybe I don't appeal uh, or kind of go out and seek support from from the YouTube audience I guess um, the video audience when I have setbacks I kind of I think I do retreat um, my primary setback has been I'm sorry but it's constipation I get on a constipation roller coaster. There's no better way to put it. I I get to where suddenly, I mean, I weigh every single day, sometimes twice a day, because I usually weigh in the morning, and then I weigh again after I work out. And because I really like the, the mental, the confidence boost of seeing that lower number. It makes me really feel um, extra empowered and motivated when I see that lower number after I've worked out. Even though it's really that I have sweated all off. It's not true fat loss or weight loss when I just lose two or three pounds when I'm working out. Regardless, a couple weeks ago I started every day weighing more and more. And it wasn't because I was having bad eating habits. It was because I was constipated. And everything I ate stayed with me. <laughs> and that's weird. And that's not comfortable to talk about at all. It's not comfortable to live with. And um, it's probably not comfortable to live with me <laughs> when I am uncomfortable like that. Mostly because it makes me a little bit cranky and... Um, probably short-tempered, and uh, I have a hard time focusing. I don't know. I don't understand why, but it has a very terrible effect on me. And so my family probably doesn't like me very much. It's probably like um, <laughs> extreme PMS <laughs> when I'm... <laughs> It's probably very much like extreme PMS when I uh, am constipated. So, um, what I really want with this video is to ask for recommendations, suggestions. If anybody, because I'm still struggling, is it that... Maybe I need to build planned lettuce. I need to make it to where every single day of my life involves two cups of lettuce. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and part of my problem is that I went through many, many, many years of having this chronic constipation problem. And so I was taking stool softeners every single day for years. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back to that. And without going into too much detail, um, there's been some kind of wild swings to where I go the other way. And, and that happened to me basically started last year when I had a surgery and then an infection from the surgery and ended up taking medications that caused a terrible, terrible floral imbalance is exactly what it's called. Sounds beautiful. A floral imbalance. It is not beautiful. And and I did take um um what do you call the um organisms, the microorganisms? Well, we'll think of it. Anyway, um I just took a really over the counter any pharmacy has this Philips brand um of these pills. And that kind of got me started back on track. 
I only went through one cycle. It was like a 30-day bottle of that stuff. And um, I kind of, you know, that kind of works for both ways, constipation or diarrhea. I'm so sorry to be talking about this. I know it's really kind of taboo-ish, but anyway, is this is poo chat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it happens. But if anybody really has some good recommendations, I, I'm, I'm willing to try virtually anything if it keeps me from having to go back to taking stool softeners every day. I don't want to do that with a stimulant laxative. It's it's not healthy for me. And I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a dork because there's lots of products out there. There's Metamucil and, and various things I could be trying. Um, but somehow I keep thinking I should be able to manage this with my diet without having to incorporate Meta Metamucil. So I, okay, yesterday I, I got seaweed and it's such a tiny amount. It has had, vir it has had absolutely no effect on me. I had like some tiny amount. It, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a video up about that. But, um, help, help. Anybody that has suggestions, please I I'm, I'm open to virtually anything. It, it you know, it needs to be something that's not going to be crazy expensive too because I'm pretty frugal about this stuff, which was one of the reasons why I used the Philips brand over the counter um normal pharmacy type of the thing I can't think of the name of. Okay. That's enough poo chat. I have lost some more weight, um, but then I bounced up a few pounds. So um, this isn't really a weight update at all. And I think I'll probably get back to that next Wednesday. One thing I need to be doing, I need to be tracking. I need to not be obsessed with the numbers. I need to stop being obsessed with the scale. Actually, today, I have not weighed. And I'm trying to avoid that because it's just going to upset me because... I'm constipated right now. I haven't gone poo and and I this is not a response to anybody or an update about anything really because I am just in a holding pattern. I don't know how to get past this. You'd think I could figure something out, but I really just want to be using some kind of naturalish way of overcoming the problem. I guess I've talked about this enough, so um, I'm good, I'm healthy, I'm still walking, and I'm still running, repeating week three of Ease into 5K, because last week, um, when I did week three the first time, Anna was out of town, and so she wanted to kind of get up to speed with week three, so I repeated it. Next week is week four. Wow, uh, our distance is going to increase again. Our distance has cut back because the amount of time we've spent walk running has reduced. So next week our distance is going to increase again. I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm still not running 18, 19, however many miles a week in one time on Saturdays that Brooke is doing. That woman is just so inspiring. Major motivation. Watch her videos because she is awesome and just she's just awesome and I'm going to get caught up on videos and see what everybody's up to I probably have like a bazillion videos to watch of fat guy skinny wallet <laughs> I can't think of his name right now I'm so sorry but oh everybody's awesome and I just need to kind of catch up get up to speed with what everybody's doing I love you all and have a wonderful rest of your week and um, I hope that you're not falling down and I hope that you're losing weight and um, I'm thinking about Vicky too um, who's in the UK and just miss her voice. Love you guys. Be well.